They're done already, so I'm going to fill this out. I don't know. Let me fill this out, then I'm going to come back because I got some things to say. All right, y'all, so I am... I'm done with uh, my paperwork. But what I wanted to say was... <sighs> I prefer, and I know a lot of y'all drivers drive the same truck. But one of the benefits of driving the same truck is that you don't have to worry about adjusting your mirrors. like I had my mirrors adjusted just right and uh, I somebody drove my truck one day and just messed it up so I had to adjust it I had to adjust my mirrors again and I have not got them right since and this was months ago right and when i b used to back into the doors and dock doors and stuff i would be so creaky and i would say well and i know they teach you in cdl school to make sure that you see um make sure that you see an even amount of your trailer on each side and i'm like i see an even amount of trailer on each side but i'm still cricket then i had an aha moment i said my mirrors are not right so what i decided to do was when i back and instead of making sure my trailer is even on both sides i would have just a little bit more I would see a little bit more of my trailer on my passenger side versus my driver's side. And I see just a little bit of my trailer on my driver's side. And with me doing that, I am straight. Every time I back into my every time I back into a door. And sometimes it's hard when there are no lines. So I'ma try to put a picture if I can. And hopefully wherever you bag to there are good drivers that have already bagged into there and you can actually see the um, marks of the previous driver that backed into that door and if you know how to stir your trailer then you can basically stir your tires your um your tandems your back tandems onto the lines that were already on the ground from the previous driver so i thought that would be some backing tips for my fellow drivers out there that are struggling also i got some new gloves these cute y'all these these are my old gloves i've had these gloves since i first started driving and one day I was at home and my gloves were like hanging out my backpack and my husband said, are those your work gloves? I said, yeah. He said, those gloves look like they belong on Jeepers Creepers. And I was like, you're right. I never really paid attention. I just used them. And he had bought these gloves for himself, but his hands are too big and my hands are the right size. So I got them. So these are my new gloves. I think he paid like $5 for, the glo for these gloves at Walmart. So look in Walmart. Walmart got, you know, Walmart got everything, y'all. So I'm finna go close my doors. It's raining today. So we're gonna be safe out here. All right? Okay. I'm at my next stop. There's this driver right here. He said he's been driving for 50 years. And I'm like, 50 years where, tr where truck drivers existed 50 years ago? Well, I keep forgetting it's 2020. So, I mean, well, 2023 or whatever. So, 50 years was in the 70s. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, I, you know, I love talking to, like, drivers that drove back in the day. 
because they can give you some story like psh, i've been driving going on 10 months now and i can give you some stories but they can give you some story stories and i love that and he was just talking about automatic trucks and stuff and he said the same thing i always say like it's just it's really hard to drive an autom in my opinion my opinion it's really hard to drive an automatic after you've been driving a manual for so long because like when people cut you off that's that's not fun at all and uh, he said mountains which is true so yeah i'm filling out my paperwork and i gotta stop at the lugs because my stomach is growling and I want a little snacky snack. So, um, yeah, we finna go to the lodge, y'all. right now and if i was to head to my next stop i would just be sitting there until like four or five o'clock and that's not fun so i try to leave here about two o'clock and i get there about three because they're never ready they're never ready and i'm like i could just get something to eat use the bathroom do stuff that i need to do instead of trying to rush to get to the next stop so oh, i tried to back into this spot that's next to me right here but as i was backing i said i don't know how i did i looked at the parking spot to make sure that you know to make sure i'm lining my truck up but as i was backing there's a stick right there and I could have gotten out to move it, but I feel like it's there for a reason. So I'm not even finna mess it up or whatever. But I'm finna go inside and. Here it goes a little something yeah. like. to my car then um my hands are cold I'ma pull off I'ma yeah I'ma um I'ma leave about two ten it's windy
too far how far am i i see 46 60 so 20 so i'm about it i'm about 45 minutes from my stop so um i love black lady with jays i love seeing my brothers and sisters out here tricky okay so i gotta go in it and get my eyes together because my eyes are dry or something something's in my eyes and it's very irritating I need some new contacts, but um, yeah, let's go in here so I can fix myself. someone over and everybody you know is driving slow past the police officer sometimes there could even be a wreck but a lot of times you can see traffic is backed up and when you get to the end of the traffic jam you don't see anything and I'm gonna tell you why a lot of well for me and right here where I'm at a lot of it's a lot of truck drivers that's right here and and we are all majority of us are heading to you know a destination not necessarily nashville but a lot of us are heading to our des destination and we are about to approach a few hills actually and so when we are going up those hills our trucks slow down and that's really a domino effect because if you get like two or three trucks that are going 65 and then all of a sudden they approach the hill and they may be heavy, they can slow all the way down to sometimes 35 depending on how heavy they are. And if that hill is, you know, going 35 up a hill, 
that may add on additional five minutes and with that all the traffic that's behind them is going to slow down and as we slow down that adds on miles so that may be you know about four or five miles worth of traffic because 10 minutes ago the trucks that started to go up the hill started slowing down so I thought I would explain that to some people because I know it took me a while to figure that out until uh, I really thought about I was like why when I get to the end there's there's nothing going on and I realized when I got to the end I was just ending the, the hill and I was slowing down so, you know, it's, it's just a domino effect. So, you just got to be patient. These are one of my brothers and my sisters in trucking. So, you know, we all got to, you know, work together during this. So, yeah. I am sitting through this little traffic. And it, it's not really long. It seems like it's moving. And I looked on the traffic map and saw how saw how uh, fast I mean saw how long the traffic jam was and it it's probably two miles so that ain't nothing so yeah we almost home I'm probably if I wasn't going through this traffic jam I'd probably be about 15 minutes from my terminal but with this traffic jam right here it's probably gonna add an, an additional 15 minutes so I'm, I'm a good 30 minutes away another year and hopefully next year this time we'll be ready to buy a home so we're working on that now so that we can be prepared um yeah so uh why did i tell y'all that oh yeah so i'm trying to figure out i'm trying to be frugal with my money so that we can save for that and I got this omelet on my mind that I want to fix. And I think I'm gonna go home and fix it. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching me and listening to me talk. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Cause we are out here messing up. So you do not have to, okay? And tell a friend, tell a friend that, you know, I'm here for you. Roll to 1,000. We're close. We're really close, y'all.